Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, DLSS 4 was announced yesterday and it was supposed to be working from the NVIDIA app. Some people had uh, problems getting this to work so if you are not sure if the new profile, the new preset uh, K, which is using the new DLSS 3.10.2.1 um, you can use this method I've been working all day <laughs> during the, the launch of the 5000 series GPUs because we, we thought that it, it was going to be pretty straight, straightforward through this app but it wasn't the case here if you open the nvidia app let me minimize this if you open the, the nvidia app right now you have here drivers uh, and in my, in my case is up to date but you might see uh update bottom here so click on there and the new version will be downloaded. <coughs> Once you have the new version, which is 5.72.16, you'll see here at the graphics tab all the games you have. In order to, to, to make this uh, possible, you can click here on the three points there and refresh. Some people said that that was the solution. So once you do that, you click on the Fly Simulator 2020 or 2024. And if you go down, you have the three different DLSS settings, presets, frame generation, and super resolution. In virtual reality, we're pretty much talking about this because we need to super sample and use the DLSS to, 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 to gain some performance. So this is the most important thing, super resolution. If you are able to click on here and with the model presets, use different settings for, for each DLSS technology, at the, at the very bottom you have latest and you have the different presets. Right now we're using preset K. It's not listed here. So we can click on latest and we're supposedly getting the, the preset K. Uh, and that's it. You apply and that's it. If it works, cool. How to know if the preset is applied and what version of the LSS you're using? This is the first step. If you take a look at my screen here with Fly Simulator 2020, at the bottom left corner, you see render preset K and the LSS 310.2.1. This is weird because we don't actually know if we are using the real DLSS 4, but I've been searching all over the forums and internet and I can't find a new a, a DLSS 4 point something version. So this we suppose that this is the latest version 310.2.1 taken from Cyberpunk again. So once you you, you have this uh, this, this thing here, which is easy to, to make it work, you have to open the registry editor, you click here and type re she registry editor here, yes, and you will have to go to, let me show you, um, hkey local machine, software, NVIDIA Corporation, Global, and NGX Core, you click there, 
and you'll see that this uh, input is not there so you have to add it you click you right click and click on new the word 32 bit value once you do that you use this name show the LSS indicator use the same type here like capital S and capital D and capital I and then once you create that you click there <coughs> and, and, and and press on decimal and put 1024 okay and that's it this is going to show you the preset here on the bottom okay <coughs> if you use the NVIDIA application and this is showing up <coughs> forget about the next steps if you're still using preset E or F or whatever and, and the version is 37.2 or something like that follow these steps first of all you're going to open this page uh, which I'm adding to the description and you will need the um, the DLSS uh, the NVIDIA profile inspector which is here it's here you will download this zip file and once you have that you will need like the version we use before the XML <coughs> XML file uh, it's here let me show you here they are already updated so you won't need to 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 make any edit here so just download this file once you have the file uh, into the download folder you open the, the NVIDIA Profile Inspector file locations it's here in my case uh, let me show you here and you'll see that NVIDIA Profile Inspector comes with three files <coughs> the XML file it's a new file that we you will need to 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 add to to this folder uh, this simply adds the profile K entry you open the NVIDIA profile inspector and the only thing you need to do here is go down until you see the LSS 3.1.11 the LSS 3 preset letter base profile only and click there and select preset K okay preset K then you go down 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 and in other here other enable the LSS frame generation override and uh, ray reconstruction override and super some super resolution override you use one one uh, one and one apply changes and you close the NVIDIA profile inspector <coughs> okay that's it once you you open the flight simulator 2020 or 2024 you will see if you add the registry entry you will you have to see this preset k and 310.2.1 if you don't see this you also need the um the the new dlss dll files so you just download them all the files in this case for instance I'm not using uh, these files because the, the NVIDIA app is working so 
the 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 files come from the the Nvidia app itself. So I don't need to add the 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 DLL files. But if you don't see the preset K and the 32.310.2.1, you just download these files <coughs> and you move the the all the here, you open the file, the zip file, here, and you just drag and drop this, these three files into the Fly Simulator executable folder location. In 2020, in Steam is, let me show you, uh, proper properties, uh, it's here. Copy. Going to open a new uh, file explorer. Paste. And here's the executable. Mm, where is it? Ah, here. So the MVN GX files are here. And you see that it's 310.1 310.1 the file version is there if you mouse over you can see it but if you look here we're using 310.2 so it, the override is working <coughs> from the app but if it's not working you just drag and drop the new files here and that's it i'm not going to use it I, i'm not going to do this because it's working um this method is is is, is possible but if the the media app is working don't do anything just leave it in my case in 2024 yesterday it was not possible i think that you will need to do this with 2024 if you can't see 310.2.1 without adding anything just like the first step and what's the advantage of this new version? Well, the ghosting is almost gone. And, and the performance is just a little bit better than the, the previous version. Okay, and once we're here, you'll notice that the visuals are much better much better the detail and the ghosting especially is gone not completely gone but it's really really better and the, the glass copy could be a problem with the numbers if you if you if you look at the let me see if you look at the I'm not using a, a with the keyboard so I'm not going to show you this is a, a laptop so but the goes in there you see then the the speed is not that bad I'm on a crash <laughs> Uh, it's, it's not activated okay that's it guys hope you understand what's what's the the deal here if you're here you might be looking for the latest version of the LSS so you know what you're doing if you don't take care don't touch anything if you don't know what you're doing 
and you might wait for uh, an app nvidia app update and this way everything's gonna be better if you get the app and you can just use the app like i did in the first couple minutes just touch this and use the latest here in super resolution use the latest and that way you'll use preset k and the lss 310.2 right now but it's going to be updated regularly so that's it thank you for watching bye bye